Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I'm going to give you just a little bit of an update on what's going on with Mikey son. Uh, most of my adult life, I'm going to say at least since 2000, uh, I've had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, gout, um, somewhere in that area. In that time frame, give or take two, three, four years, uh, all that started kind of coming into play. I've never been one to watch my diet uh, periodically once a month, once every six months, once a year, I get on a kick where I do try uh, to watch what I'm eating and, and all that, but it never goes real well. <clears throat> well, uh, since most of you uh, don't keep up with me on Facebook, because uh, that's where I share uh, most of my stuff like this, but uh, on the daily, but uh, like over the last couple of months or so, my legs have started swelling up, and I've never really had that problem. Now, everybody gets a little swelling from time to time, just a little, but not, you know, to the degree of like, you know, it looks like you done got stung by a swarm of bees or something. Um, so my legs have been swelling up for the past good couple of months now. Uh, even whenever uh, I was doing that uh, stress test or whatever, walking and jogging around the track, there's a point in one of the videos where I look at my feet, at my shoe. I think I got new shoes that day. I don't remember. And my left leg, you can tell, uh, is swollen. So, uh, it happened somewhere around that time. Somewhere, I think, in June or something. So, anyway. You know, research that you do. We all search on Google. And the things that you come up with. Uh, for reasons of swelling legs are heart problems, liver, and kidney. Uh, those are all worst case scenarios. Now, do I doubt, do I have any doubt that it could be related to some of that? No. Uh, anything that can happen will happen. Let's face it. <clears throat> uh, so, basically this past week, so far this week, I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today's Friday. I've been trying to watch things, kind of keep an eye on my diet, and trying to cut back on sodium, which is extremely difficult to do. Number one, if you're not addicted to sodium, it don't matter. It's still difficult to do because everything in the store has sodium. So, and on top of that, I'm addicted to sodium. I can literally drink salt. Uh, those pickles that I eat, I don't know if I've, if you've watched my videos before and I've mentioned them, or they're Big Papa Dill Pickles, or the Hot Mamas, or the Sour Sis, they're all from the same company, uh, Van Houten. Anyway, those pickles have over 3,000 milligrams of sodium per pack. They come in a little pack. Pickle in a pouch, if you will. So I eat those, and... That's a lot of sodium. That's more than what you're supposed to get in a day. And unless you're extremely active, that's too much sodium. Extremely active. <clears throat> so, anywho, I've bought a couple of healthier things. My wife has gotten me a couple of healthier things. I'm trying to watch what I do. Uh, my goal is to get off of some medication because... Even if you get your blood checked and your blood pressure checked and all that stuff and it all looks good, it's still only good because you're on medication. <clears throat> Which is the case yesterday. I had to go and get a little uh, physical or whatever because I got life insurance. And so I had to get blood and, or give blood and I had to <clears throat> uh, get my pulse taken and my blood pressure taken and all that. And everything was good. Perfect. Um, well, I don't know about my blood yet. That's not in. But I'm sure everything will be fine because it pretty much always is. But it's controlled by medication. Now, how many millions of Americans are going through this same thing? Millions. Uh, it's a horrible situation. 
And when I say it's an addiction, it's every bit as addictive as smoking, drugs, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, not just the sodium part, but the eating part, the overeating part, uh, all of it. It's just so addictive and we're brought up that way as Americans. And I can only, only really speak for America because that's where I'm at. But the American diet from birth is absolute garbage and you know it, it's almost not our fault uh, even whenever we become adults yeah we have you know more options in our own brain and we can do what we want and all that but it, by that point we're already accustomed to eating you know triple cheeseburgers and bacon cheeseburgers and pizzas and hot dogs and you know all this different stuff <clears throat> so uh, it's rough. It's a rough journey. Last night I didn't even sleep. I couldn't sleep for nothing. And it was just after 2. It was like 2 o'clock, 2.05. I finally got up and I went in the hall bathroom. I looked in the mirror and I just spoke out to myself in the mirror and I was like, I'm fixing to go eat one of them pickles. I'm fixing to go eat it. And then I'm going to be pissed off. I'm going to be disappointed. And then everything I've done up to this point this week is for nothing. I'm going to have to restart. And I'm going to feel like crap. Feel like a loser. And, uh, well, I went in the kitchen, opened the refrigerator, looked in there, seen those pickles. And instead of eating the pickles, instead of eating a pickle, whatever, I got a piece of ham and a piece of cheese, rolled it up, and ate it. Now, that still has sodium in it. It's a quality ham and a quality cheese that we got from the Mennonites. But it still has sodium in it. But I'm willing to bet it doesn't have over 3,000 milligrams of sodium. <clears throat> and it quenched my... It quenched my taste buds a little bit. But I still wanted that pickle. <laughs> but I didn't eat the pickle and... Is it, is it an accomplishment? Maybe. And you might be saying, well, why don't you get rid of the pickles? Well, with any addiction, if you get rid of the addiction, that don't mean you've beaten it. It means that it's not there for you to have the option. So if those pickles are in there and I have the option to go eat those pickles, and I don't eat those pickles, then I've beaten, I've taken control of the situation. Um... Again, I'm a big pickle connoisseur. I love pickles. I drink the juice. Uh, the more dill and bitter, the better. That's what I like. Literally, I'll drink a whole jar of juice. I bought a big jar, <laughs> huge jar like so. Ate all the pickles and then kept the jar of juice. And every day I would drink some juice. So, uh, I'm really struggling. And... Uh, for those of you that like to watch my everyday kitchen where I cook and I and I maybe do taste tests and stuff like that, that's going to kind of maybe slow down a little bit because if you watch, uh, you know what I like to eat. Uh, and all of the taste tests I do revolve around hot sauces and uh, spicy chips and stuff like that and different things, so I, I can't do it anymore. Now... Uh, once I get things under control and my mind has switched and I've made that switch, that click, and uh, this is no longer a struggle, then I might could go and take a cheat day once a week, eat whatever I want and do whatever I want and feel good about it. But this is the biggest struggle in my life and it always has been. So and it's everyone's struggle. Look at Americans. We're all obese. We're all big. We all have a bad diet. It's horrible. It don't matter if you go to the gym every day. It don't matter if you ride a bicycle every day. It don't matter what you do because your health revolves around the kitchen. Anything you put in your body is more detrimental to your health than, you know, uh, anything that you're going to go do. So... I might have worded that correctly. I don't know. You can figure it out. You know what I'm saying. But uh, anyway, this isn't a downer video. This isn't a, 
you know, oh, poor Mike, come on, buddy. Uh, you know, I'm just letting you know that things have got to change a little bit in my life. And um, right now my brain is going a mile a minute and I'm a little bit crazy. So my videos might suffer. I might not be putting out as many and they might not be, you know, revolving around eating as much. So, anywho, guys. Hey, Kevin. Superman Kev 2001 gave me this hat. Uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on what's going on. And, uh, and for those of you out there that are struggling with your diet... And, uh, or with any sort of other drug abuse or anything, I feel for you. Uh, we're all in it together. It don't matter uh, what it is because the outcome is still the same. Uh, not good. So, guys, it's a wonderful Friday here. By wonderful, I mean it's raining continuously, nonstop. But we're still alive and kicking. Hope you enjoy my videos. Hope you enjoy the channel. I hope I bring some inspiration to you uh, in some form or fashion. And if you're struggling in life, leave something in the comments. Let me know because we're all there together. All right, guys. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. Even when you want to drink a tub of salt. Whew. Boy, that would taste good right now. We'll see you all later. Go eat an apple or an orange. Go eat something healthy. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!